Right, listen to this. By the time you finish watching this video, roughly two and a half million pounds worth of business will have been done entirely by robots. No humans involved. That's pretty crazy, isn't it? And that's just the beginning. These five technologies I'm about to show you aren't just changing business, they're absolutely turning it on its head. So stick around. If you're running a business or thinking about starting one, this could be the difference between thriving and, well, becoming as obsolete as Blockbuster on the high street. All right, let's get real for a minute. We're living through one of the biggest revolutions since someone had the bright idea to put shops in one place and call it a shopping centre. Digital technology isn't just making things faster anymore. It's completely rewriting the rules of how business works. I've been tracking these changes for years and I've narrowed it down to five absolute game changers and every business needs to know about these. We're talking about proper disruptive stuff here. The kind that makes traditional business models look like they're still using carrier pigeons. Today, I'm going to break down how each of these technologies work, show you how real examples of companies using them are already making money from them, and most importantly, help you understand why ignoring them is just like trying to compete with Amazon using corner shop mentality. Trust me, by the end of this video, you'll either be buzzing with ideas or slightly terrified, probably a bit of both. Okay, let's dive into the Fantastic Five, shall we? So first up, AI and machine learning. Now before you roll your eyes and think, here we go with a robot takeover chat. This isn't science fiction anymore. Companies like Netflix are using AI to predict what you want to watch before you even know what you want to watch. That's not just clever marketing, that's next level customer service. Meanwhile, retailers are using machine learning to manage their stock so efficiently they're reducing waste by up to 30%. That's massive savings and better environmental credentials. It's a proper win-win. Second, blockchain technology. Yeah, I know everybody's banging on about Bitcoin, but forget the crypto drama for a second. Walmart is using blockchain to trace food from farm to shelf in seconds instead of weeks. When there's a contamination scare, they can pinpoint the exact source faster than you can say food poisoning lawsuit. That's the kind of transparency that builds trust and saves millions. Third, the Internet of Things. Basically everything getting smart and chatty. Rolls-Royce engines now tell airlines when they need maintenance before they break down. No more surprise delays. No more massive repair bills, just smooth operations. It's like having a crystal ball for business efficiency. Fourth, augmented and virtual reality. IKEA lets customers see how furniture looks in their actual living room before they buy it. No more of that classic British tradition of buying a sofa that's too big for your front door. Meanwhile, companies are training staff using virtual environments that would be too dangerous or expensive to recreate in real life. Fifth, edge computing. This one's a bit technical, but stick with me. Instead of sending all data to the cloud and waiting for answers, smart devices are processing information locally. Think autonomous vehicles. They make split second decisions without asking the internet first because Asking, should I break now, and waiting for a reply from the server would be pretty awkward. But here's the thing, if I had to put money on which technology is going to be the absolute game changer, it's got to be AI and machine learning. And let me tell you why, with a story that will blow your mind. There's a British company called DeepMind. You might have heard of them. Google brought them for £400 million, which in London property is about three decent houses. But I digress. They created an AI system that manages Google data centers and the results are absolutely crazy. This AI reduced Google's calling costs by 40%. We're talking about savings of hundreds of millions of pounds annually. But here's the kicker. It did this by spotting patterns and inefficiencies that human engineers, as brilliant as they are, simply couldn't see. The AI was making thousands of micro adjustments every minute, responding to weather patterns, server loads and energy prices in ways that would make your head spin. But it gets better still. 
the same technology is now being used by the NHS to diagnose eye diseases faster and more accurately than specialist doctors. Not replacing them, mind you, making them superhuman. A doctor with AI can now scan for diabetic retinopathy and spot problems that might take weeks to identify to traditional methods. Here's where it gets properly exciting. This isn't just about big corporations anymore. Small businesses are using AI chatbots to handle customer service 24-7, AI tools to write marketing copy that actually converts, and machine learning to predict which products will sell like hotcakes and which will sit there like last week's newspaper. The mad thing is, we're still in the early days. Most businesses are barely scratching the surface of what's possible. It's like we've been given superpowers, but half of us are still using them to open jars. So let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture, shall we? These five technologies aren't working in isolation. They're combining like some sort of business Voltron. AI is getting smarter because of IoT devices that feed it more information. Blockchain is making that data more trustworthy. Edge computing is making everything faster. And AR or VR is making the whole experience more intuitive for us mere mortals. The result, we're seeing the emergence of what I like to call invisible businesses, companies that operate so smoothly, so efficiently, that the technology becomes completely transparent to the customer. You don't think about the algorithm when you're enjoying a Netflix recommendation or the IoT centers when your Uber arrives exactly when it was predicted. This shift is creating two types of businesses, those that embrace these technologies and seem to operate like they've got cheat codes, and those that don't, who increasingly look like they're trying to compete in Formula One with a horse and cart. The companies getting this right aren't just more profitable, they're more resilient, more adaptable, and frankly more fun to work for. They're attracting better talent, serving customers better, and solving problems that seemed impossible just a few years ago. But here's what's really interesting. The barrier to entry keeps getting lower. Cloud computing means you don't need massive IT infrastructure. AI tools are becoming as easy to use as smartphone apps. The playing field is levelling in ways that favour agility over size and innovation over tradition. So where does this leave us? The future of business isn't some distant sci-fi scenario. It's happening right now. The companies that survive and thrive will be those that stop thinking of technology as an add-on and start seeing it as the foundation. The good news, you don't need to be a tech genius to get started. The key is to start small, experiment and scale what works. Pick one area of your business that's causing you grief, customer service, inventory management, marketing, and look for a tech solution user-friendly interfaces that would make even your nan feel comfortable. The slightly scary news, your competitors are probably already doing this. And in a world where customer expectations are set by the likes of Amazon and Netflix, good enough just isn't good enough anymore. Here's my predictions. The businesses that will dominate the next decade won't necessarily be the ones with biggest budgets or the fanciest offices and use technology to amplify human creativity and intuition rather than replace it. We're entering an age where small teams can have global impact, where brilliant ideas can be tested and scaled faster than ever before, and where the only real limitation is imagination. It's simultaneously the most challenging and most exciting time to be in business. The companies that get this right will look back at 2025 as the year that changed everything. The question is, will your business be one of them or will you be watching from the sidelines wondering what happened? So there you have it, five technologies that are reshaping business as we know it. But I want to know what you think. Which of these excites you the most? Which one terrifies you? Drop a comment below and we can have a proper chat about it. If you found this useful and you want to catch my next video, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because trust me, you won't want to miss out.